What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a hot Mimi Elden Ring video. Actually, I've been wanting to make a magic character and I thought I would do a video power leveling this character as quickly as possible. So I'll be implementing a fast leveling strategy which is documented in another video. I'll put that link in the description. Um, basically, I'm gonna be trying to get to that location as quickly as possible, then grinding the levels and seeing how long it takes me to get to I don't know, level 30, 40, something, we'll see. Anyways, we're gonna fire up a new game here and we're gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna start the timer yet. I'm actually gonna choose, I think, an astrologer. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer at this point, I guess, why not? Seems like as good a time as any. Um, we're just gonna go as quickly as possible. I'll try to, I'll try to edit this video down to be pretty snappy. Uh, just the important stuff, so let's freaking go. Okay, so I actually have not used a magic character in this game. Ooh, a little bit of lag right there. Have not used a magic character. Uh, this will be my first time, so forgive my ignorance on the subject. We're just gonna try to get through this beginning area as fast as I possibly can. So we're already at the first boss, who the best strategy here would be to die really fast, I guess, but I'm gonna fight him like a crazy person. I'm gonna fight this guy like a crazy person and see what happens. If you use magic, it looks like you actually have a chance to beat him. So that's interesting. Except I'm gonna run out of magic power. I'm kinda whooping up on this dude, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm having a little too much fun here. We're supposed, supposed to be speedrunning this shit. Damn, if I had... I wish I had more magic. I'm already out of magic power here. Woo! What do I do now? Now I can't do anything. Now I'm screwed. Alright, we gotta fight this guy the old-fashioned way. Uh, can I even hit this guy? Yes, I can. Oh, God. All right, we had a good run. We're just gonna let him kill us now. It was fun. Wait, he just yelled at me. So that's what happens. You can't actually beat him. He just yells at you. Interesting. That was another video I was considering. I was considering doing a what happens if you beat that boss video, but turns out you can't beat him. He just yells at you anyways. So that is very interesting. All right, three minutes in, I am in the open world here. Um, very nice, very nice. We want to go ahead and grab the, I think... Uh, obviously, we want to grab every Lost Grace along the way that we can because we're going to need, you know, all the checkpoints possible. So we're going to run straight up here. Uh, going to avoid this guy at all costs because that guy is the worst and he's going to kill my speed run. Yep, just going to go ahead and watch out for that dude. Gonna head to this first little area here, and we're gonna go ahead and grab the Lost Grace right here. And then I'm gonna continue heading down the path this way. There is a guy right here, but I really have no desire to fight anybody at this point. So we're coming up on this camp right away, and I think this is the one you get the mount at. I'm pretty sure that Lost Grace straight ahead. Okay, so we're gonna activate this Lost Grace here and see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and rest. I should activate a cutscene, right? Yep, we got the cutscene. We're gonna go ahead and skip that. This should give me my steed. Finger maidens, dude. It's really freaky. So I've been bequeathed the ring. Getting the steed within five minutes. You can get the steed in under five minutes, you guys. Easy. Super easy. So here's our steed. We're gonna go ahead and bind it. Here we go. We are ready to go here so now I need to open up my map and I need to go <laughs> my map is so limited but I need to go around I got to find my way to the special location first order of business is going to be to run straight through here and we're gonna have to dodge that huge guy and all these archers but that's all honestly very easy on the steed it's super simple to dodge enemies on this thing I'm gonna move my timer to the bottom middle here because it's kind of blocking whoa we got some puppers we got some puppers you guys you need to make sure you're going the right direction. Um, like I said, I have another video that shows where you need to go. And I actually have not routed this before. This is my first time ever trying to do this, and I have not practiced it. And I almost died jumping off a cliff there. So as you can see, it's a little bit sketchy. But this is the right direction. I'm just going to keep going this way. This is going to be Elden Ring speedruns in a nutshell. Just some guy riding a horse for like 100 hours. All right, so I'm coming up on this bridge. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way, which is pretty nice. I'm um, going to activate this Lost Grace. Um, I should probably keep my eyes peeled for the map. 
Um, I don't know. I think the map. I probably could have picked up the map. Um, I don't. You don't actually need it. The thing is, if you're gonna be doing this, you don't really need the map. If you know where you're going, you really probably don't need the map. So I just entered Limgrave, and we're coming up on the 10 minute mark here. Here's the uh, boat boss. The weird boss here. Not gonna worry about that guy, just gonna keep on going. I just got invaded. Wait a minute, I just got invaded, you guys. I don't know if I was invaded by an NPC or by a real person, I'm not totally sure. But I'm being chased by dogs. This much I know for sure, I'm being chased by dogs. There's a Lost Grace right here, I'm gonna try and grab it real fast. Giant freaky bird. Uh, the invader disappeared. I don't know where they went or what happened. Um, uh, like I said, I really don't know if that was an NPC or not. But we press onward. Based on my calculations, we are going the right way. Um, I recognize this area. We're coming up on these giant stupid dogs. I hate, hate those dogs. You want to stay away from them at all costs. They're incredibly dangerous. Okay, we just got to Grail's Dragon Barrow, so we're getting very close to the destination. Once again, I am stopping to get every single Lost Grace along the way in case I do die. And of course, why wouldn't you anyways? If you plan on playing this character, you want to get all the Lost Graces anyways. Uh, just for later. Now, this map is really convenient. It's right along the way, so you might as well grab that map of Dragon Barrow right there. And now we can actually see exactly where we're going. I'm almost there. I'm going to set a marker. But see where that blue light is? That is pretty much where I'm headed. This area is a little crazy because there are dragons just chilling everywhere. So I would uh, watch your step here. We got a dragon right here. I think you have to go past him. Stay on the edge. Hope he doesn't kill you. Yep. Whoop. Try not to fall and die like I almost did right there. That's pretty crazy. Got another Lost Grace. It's right here. We're basically there. So it took me less than 15 minutes, you guys, to get to the farm zone that we're going to be um, abusing to level up. Now, I never tried this with the new character, so I don't know if it's going to be any different than on my main character. But we're about to find out. Okay, here comes the first ball right here. Dodged it. Got 2,000 souls, just like that. Got 2,000 souls, you guys. Coming from this direction is a little scarier. Um, there's the second ball. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Almost got wasted by that. That one did not give me souls. Um, if you saw my video for how I explained this one, you know that that is jank sometimes. So it looks like it does work, you guys. So we're coming up on the 15 minute mark and we are grabbing the uh, lens, whatever this one is, this Lost Grace. I'll check it on the map real quick. This one's called Lens Rise, and we're going to go ahead and travel to it, even though we're already here. And here we are. Now we are officially in the farm zone. So I'm going to spend probably the next hour doing my trick from the other video and see how many runes we end up getting and how many levels that ends up being. Just to show you guys, there's the first ball right there. Boom. Didn't get the runes on that one. I told you guys it's a little jank sometimes. Gonna go check out the second one. See if everything is cool. Um, I think everything should pretty much be normal from this point. There's our 2,000 runes. We're gonna go ahead and warp. Rinse and repeat. If you want a more detailed breakdown of how this trick works, please check out my other video. The link is in the description. At this point, we're gonna speed up the video to about the one hour mark and I'll do a progress report, check in, and let you all know how it's going. There it is. Yo, check this out, gamers. We're at the 57 minute mark. I have, it's been, not even been one hour since I created this character. Look how many runes I have. Look how many runes I have. 224,000 runes. Still got a couple minutes left for the one hour mark of creating the character. That's not, that's like what, 40 minutes? I wanna say even 20, 15, 20 minutes to get here, whatever it was. 
This is freaking nuts. I told you guys in the other video with this strategy, you can easily clear 300,000 runes an hour. Um, as proven here, I've been doing this for about 40 minutes and I've already gotten 230,000. Um, another 20 minutes, I think I would be around the 300k mark. Absolutely insane. Maybe even more. I think you could get 315,000. All right, you know what? We'll stop right there. I didn't even finish this run. So I'm going to pause the timer. And I'm going to warp back here. We're looking at the one hour mark from creating the character. That doesn't even involve being here. So let's take a look at our progress here. I'm going to rest the bonfire. I'm still at level one. I got some cutscene crap here. I don't know what this is. She's been testing me. All right, so we're going to level up. For the first time, apparently you start the game at level 6, actually, so that's interesting, but let's see. Oh my god, dude. Oh, so close. Level 6 to 48. Almost level 50 in one hour. Dude, let me do a couple more runs, alright? Let's get an even 50, alright? Let's do that real quick. Alright, you ready? Here we go. I think I have enough now. Let's see it. 50. Boom. Level 50 in one hour and a few minutes. Dudes. And it wasn't even perfect play. So I could easily do this in under one hour by optimizing my route to here better. Like getting to the spot initially. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just running all over the place. And I wasted time in the beginning on the first boss for funsies. Um, as well as just performing better overall with the grinding of the XP. You can get a level, a character to level 50 in one hour. Absolutely unbelievable. It's funny because I was like, man, I really want to start a magic character, but I don't really feel like spending the time. Well, turns out you only need one hour. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you know any other cool tricks below or if you want to see any other videos. Uh, much love to you all. Hope you all are enjoying Elden Ring, and I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to watch my Elden Ring live streams or my boss fights video in the end screens right here.